Welcome to Global Media Network, LLC. Educate, enlighten, and entertain. Today, on Friday, December 22nd, on Lest We Forget, hyphen historical, your host, Lillian Caldwell, will be discussing the 12 scams of Christmas. The Better Business Bureau has put out a tag sheet of the seven to 12 scams for the each day of Christmas that are now running rampart in our country. So we will discuss each one of them. The first one is misleading social media ads. When you scroll down through your social media feed, you'll often see a lot of products and or services offered or advertised. Before you act with your stomach, research before you buy. The BBB, the Better Business Bureau Scam Tracker, receives daily thousands of reports of people paying for items that they never receive, getting charged monthly for a free trial they never signed up for, or receive an item that is a counterfeit or different from the one advertised, what the retailers call bait and switch. The 2022 BBB online scams report found that online purchase scams were the most common cons reported to scam tracker. Before you order, check out the company's business profile on BBB.org and read the reviews. If you want more information on misleading ads or counterfeit goods, you can also find that at the BBB. The second day of Christmas scam, social, excuse me, media gift exchanges. According to the BBB, each holiday season, this scheme always pops back up. And in 2023, it's no different. The older version was called Secret Sister. A newer version of this scam involves exchanging bottles of wine or purchasing a $10 gift card or gifts online. Another twist may ask you to submit your email to a list where participants get to pick a name and send money to strangers to quote, pay it forward, unquote. There's even a twist about Secret Santa Dog where you buy a $10 gift for your secret dog. In any or of all these versions, you unwittingly share your personal information and are further tricked into buying and shipping gifts or money to unknown individuals. It is what we call a pyramid scheme, which is illegal. If you're going to buy Stick to buying for your friends, your gifts from trustworthy businesses. And always check with the BBB before you buy something. Number three, holiday apps. Apple App Store and Google Play list dozens of holiday theme apps where children can video chat live with Santa. Light the menorah, watch Santa feed live reindeer, check and track his sleigh on Christmas Eve or relay their holiday wish list. Review their privacy policies to see what information will be collected. Be wary of free apps as they can sometimes contain more advertising than apps that require a nominal fee. Free apps can also contain malware. Be sure to review the reviews and read them. Before I buy anything, I always read the reviews because they'll tell you a lot about what you're purchasing. On the fourth day of Christmas scams, fake texts 
that say you've been hacked. The BBB receives tons of reports on Scam Tracker about fake texts and emails, many of them claiming Amazon, PayPal, Netflix, or bank accounts has been compromised. Victims are told there's been suspicious activity on one of their accounts, and it further urges them to take immediate action to prevent the account from being compromised. Be extra cautious. Think before your gut takes over and make sure that this is really happening. What I do is I call the so-called name merchant and get a representative and ask them outright. Whatever you do, don't click on any links. On the fifth day of Scam Christmas, free gift cards. Nothing brings good cheer like the word free. Scammers have been known to take advantage of our weakness by sending bulk phishing emails requesting personal information to receive free cards. And some of these emails, the scammers will impersonate legitimate companies and promise gift cards to reward their loyal customers. However, they also may use pop-up ads or send text messages with links saying you were randomly selected as the winner of a prize. If you receive an unsolicited email with gift card offers, do not open it. Mark it as spam or junk and delete it. And if curiosity gets the better of you, remember, think with your brain, not with your gut. On the sixth day, temporary holiday jobs. Retailers typically hire seasonal workers to help meet the demands of their holiday shoppers. Shippers and delivery services are top holiday employers this year because of the increase of online orders and the need to get most of these packages delivered before Christmas. These jobs are a great way to make extra money, sometimes with the potential of turning into a long-term employment opportunity. However, you need to be wary of employment scams aimed at stealing money and personal information from you, the job applicant. Keep an eye out for opportunities that seem too good to be true because they usually are. On the seventh day of scam, lookalike websites. The holiday season brings endless emails offering deals, sales, and bargains. But be wary of emails with links enclosed. Some may lead to lookalike websites are created by scammers to trick people into downloading malware, making dead-end purchases, and sharing private information. If you're not sure about the email, do not click. Instead, delete. Or take a look and see where they're rerouted to go directly to the official website mentioned. And again, you can check their listing at bbb.org to verify that you have the right one. On the eighth day of Scam Christmas, fake charities. The last few weeks of the year is a busy time for charitable donations. Donors are advised to look out for fraudulent charities and scammers pretending to be individuals in need. Avoid impromptu donation decisions to unfamiliar organizations. In other words, if you don't recognize the organization's name, then I'm not saying it is a scam, but check it out. Responsible organizations will welcome a gift tomorrow as much as they do today. Again, check the charity on the BPB website or the Canada Revenue Agency website. And when possible, donate to the charity through their website and use a credit card. On the ninth day of Scam Christmas, fake shipping notifications. More consumers are making purchases online. And there's also an increase in the number of notifications about shipping details from retailers and carriers. Scammers use this new surge 
to send phishing emails with links and clothes that may allow unwanted access to your private information or download malware onto your device. They may also try to trick people into paying new shipping fees. On the 10th day, we have advent calendars. There are a lot more advent calendars for sale than ever. CNN has a list of over 60 calendars and many are in hot demand. In the past, the BBB received reports about advent calendar ads on social media not delivered as promised. Some were never received. Other received inferior products or incomplete orders. You should always research before you buy, read the reviews, and also look up the company on the BBB before purchasing. The BBB also has a shopper's guide to help you purchase that niche advent calendar. On the 11th day of scam Christmas, low price luxury goods, jewelry, designer clothing, and electronics are almost always cheap counterfeits and knockoffs. The same applies to popular toys. This year, it's Barbie and Ken, Bitsy, and Paw Patrol headphones are some of the items in high demand. Be very cautious when considering purchasing popular toys from resellers on Facebook Marketplace and other platforms. And then on the 12th day of Scam Christmas, puppy scams. Many families may consider adding a pet to their household in 2023 for 2024. However, be on the lookout for scams. Many would-be pet owners turn to the internet to find their future cat or dog or bird, but experts say a shocking 80% of sponsored pet advertisements may be fake. Be sure to see the pet in person before making a purchase. For more information on how to avoid these and other scams, visit bbb.org forward slash avoid scams. For more advice, read the BBB's tips on online shopping. If you spot an online scam, report it to the BBB scam tracker. Thank you very much for joining Lillian Caldwell, host of Lest We Forget hyphen historical. You can hear this program on many of our directories, Spreaker.com, YouTube.com forward slash PWR Network, our homepage, PWRTalkRadio.com. If you have any comments, please text us at 484-364-1032 and tell us what you want to hear on atrocities that are continuously repeated throughout our history with no one solving it in sight. To all a good night, Merry Christmas, have a safe Christmas, allow plenty of time for traveling because of the weather. And remember, take a deep breath and you'll do just fine. Thank you very much until next week.